Good morning, today's day 21 of my 40 day campaign. I can't believe I'm already halfway through, but um, I appreciate all the support, all the comments. Um, yesterday was a big day, election day, so I mentioned that everyone votes with your dollars every day by the products you buy, by the companies you're supporting. Um, big shout outs to California, Prop 12, Florida, banning dog racing. Can uh, we work on the Melbourne Cup next? That would be great. If we could uh, put an end to horse racing, that'd be one more uh, animal cruelty event that we can uh, put a stop to. So great job every day, everybody. So one of the things I talked about yesterday, and I was kind of, um, I was mistaken by something. So I wanted to uh, kind of address that today. And it has to do with CoverGirl. Um, I definitely think uh, they are making progress, but uh, I didn't realize something. So here we go. In my video yesterday, I talked about how CoverGirl is now certified cruelty-free. And uh, that's fantastic. But what I didn't realize, and you know, I think this is part of what they want, I didn't realize that being certified cruelty-free only means that they no longer test their products on animals. I think that's important, but how can you be cruelty-free if the products you sell still contain dead animals. How can you be cruelty free if your products still contain dead animals? So I didn't realize that and um, to me part of being vegan is talking about progress over perfection. We're all going to make mistakes. There's going to be something we buy, something we consume, something that has some type of animal product or byproduct in it. I think it's important though, not only to show how vegan we are, I think it's important to show that, hey, you know, when we do make a mistake, let's point this out for someone else who may not realize that. Um, I, it blows my mind that you can be certified cruelty free, but you still sell products that have dead animals in them or byproducts of some kind of animal that's been neglected and abused so you can have their product in yours. So those two things don't make sense to me, but uh, I appreciate Marlo. I appreciate my wife um, commenting yesterday and um, kind of setting me straight because I, didn't not, I did not realize that. And, you know, I think that's the way they want it. They come up with these clever things like free range, cage free, grass fed, humane slaughter. You know, those things are to make us feel better about our purchases. Oh, it was humanely slaughtered. Well, what does that mean? Well, it still means that an animal lost its life that did not want to die for us to consume it in some nature. So, I don't know how you do something that's violent, humanely. It's just, those two things don't go together. Um, Cruelty-free products, that's great. You don't test your products on animals, but let's get real here. You still have animal products in what you're selling. So, you know, it's important that we address these things. It's important that when you make a mistake that you can own up to it. It's important that when you learn something, you share it. And uh, yesterday, I appreciate being uh, set straight on the record for that. So thanks, guys. Um, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the donations. I appreciate everybody following along, all the comments. I hope uh, someone out there is getting something good out of something I've said or shared. We, um, we've really enjoyed being part of this movement and part of this journey. And it's um, it's been interesting to say the least so we've uh, really appreciate all the support we appreciate everybody following and uh, together I think differences are making if you look at you know legislation yesterday being passed to protect animals in California and Florida people are making a difference so let's get out there let's keep spreading the word and uh, hope you have a wonderful day thanks guys